Matthew chapter 1. Now the synoptic gospels are Matthew, Mark, and Luke. To be seen with your eyes according to Luke 1, 2. So Matthew, Mark, and Luke are called synoptic. This is another big word that you can go to seminary and get a de degree that other people don't know. Just interesting facts. Matthew is a tax collector. He is one of the 12 apostles, 12 disciples chosen by Jesus Christ. He would have been the most hated man by everybody being a tax collector yet he grabs his pencil and follows Jesus Matthew is Jesus Christ as King his genealogy that's listed in the Gospels goes back to the very first Jew Abraham Mark is Jesus Christ as a servant there is no genealogy Servants don't care who they came from, who their families are. Luke, Jesus Christ as the Son of Man, and you get a genealogy that goes all the way back to the first man, Adam. And the Gospel of John, Jesus Christ as the Son of God, and there is no genealogy of God because God has no human. God made humans. Humans didn't make God. And there's anything else in here. There's been 400 years silence between Malachi. Uh, Matthew begins the birth of Daniel's 64th, 69th week and ends with 64th week and ends in Christ's ministry the last half of the 69th week. So are all done with the Old Testament we move on to the Gospels and the Gospels are you really can't place the dispensation between the law and the church because Jesus is here and when Jesus is around no one dies and if they die he resurrects them and he says I come to fulfill the law Yet he backs the law and obeys the law. And once he dies and is risen from the grave, man, things have changed. So we finished the Old Testament. We're in between Testament. Testament means somebody has died. Jesus Christ has not died. So you cannot say Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are New Testaments. Before he's dead? Before he's born? That's a violation of law. Imagine going up to, you're married or you're a child of a parent and you go up to the Lord. Hey, yeah, I want the will of my, my dad or my husband or my wife to be read. Well, are they dead? No. Then there's no testament. There's no will to be won. Alright, so we're done with the Old Testament. We're done with names. Alright. The book of the generations of Jesus Christ. Generations. I'm just looking at my notes as I go along here. And they're all over the place, so forgive me. Of Jesus Christ. This is who it's all about now. This is all the ones the Jews have been waiting for. This is the Messiah. This is He. This is the Son of God. This is what the whole book's about. One, two, three, four, five, six words into the gospel, and we got Jesus Christ. The Son of David. So, great, 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 great. Son in the Bible can be a grandchild or a grandfather. Because David did not give birth to Jesus Christ. It's a long way. David. This is the messianic kingdom. David the king. Jesus Christ, king of the Jews. So here is Jesus Christ, king. 
by the generations. The son of Abraham, the first Jew. The son of Abraham, the promised seed given to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. The Lord Jesus Christ is of David the king. He's of Abraham the Jew. And Abraham begat Isaac. No Ishmael. And Isaac begat Jacob. And Jacob begat Judas. Now notice Judas. Judas is just Judah. But in the Greek. Greek Judah is Judas. And his brethren. And Judas begat... Oh boy, we're right back in the names again. Wait a minute. I thought we were all done with that. Here we are. And for the sake that we're trying to do a chapter at night, I know once we get the gospel, we're, go back and look at what some of these people done and did and who they were in the line of Jesus Christ. Pharaoh and Zayar of Thamar. Remember that's the daughter in law of Judas? Or Judah? I'm saying Judah. Pharaoh begat Israel. Israel begat Amram. Amram begat Amminadad. Amminadad begat Nasan. Nasan begat Solomon. Solomon begat Boaz. Boaz of Rechem. And Boaz begat Obed of Ruth. A Moabitess. That's the second woman mentioned in the line of Jesus Christ. Thamar and Ruth. Meet how these two women, you don't read about Sarah, you don't read about Rebecca. Why does Tamar make the list? She sleeps with her father in law, Ruth. She's an outstanding woman, I, I can assume why she's there. And Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David the king. This is the first New Testament subject first time king has shown up in the new testament and it is in relation to david and jesus christ and david the king like there's no other king in the world begat solomon luke 3:31 is where it changes this is where the genealogy from Joseph differates from the genealogy of Mary. Mary, it's it would be the son of Nathan. I mean, it'd be David's son Nathan, not Solomon. So this line of Jesus Christ being king is found in Joseph, not Mary. Because that line has been cursed, corn and Jeremiah, oh earth, 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 right this man childless. That's why the that's why the throne can go to Jesus Christ through Mary. Joseph is not his father. Understand that? The virgin birth. But yet Joseph adopts Jesus. And many US states adopting a child has more right more honor more laws for than a natural born child some states if you adopt a child you cannot disinherit that child but you can disinherit a child that's been born to you so what god did is he has joseph adopt jesus christ now with a legal adoption like we are adopted through god by the holy spirit we're going to list the kings of Judah, which is now the line of Jesus Christ, not by the father Joseph, but by adopted father. Begat Solomon, of her that had been the wife of Uriah. Oh, ooh, look at that one in there. He doesn't mention Bathsheba, but we know what happened. We know who she is.
And Solomon begat Robum. And you can find these names in the Old Testament. And Robum begat Abiah, and Abiah begat Asa, and Asa begat Josaphat, and Josaphat. Now these are the tribes of Judah. These are none of the Israel tribes. They went sour from, from day one. Trying to think of Jeroboam went sour, and the rest of the kings of Israel just continued to go sour. And Josephat begat Joram, and Joram. Now he married into Ahab's family, and Baal worship. Second Kings eight eighteen, Second Chronicles twenty two one, and you'll find that in Exodus twenty verse four about the law. This one right here begat Ozias. Now, anybody with a proper reading of the Bible and studying, you will find 2 Chronicles chapter 21, verse 16. You will find Joram 1a, Matthew 1a. Then you see Ozias, Uzziah, that, that's what his name is. You find him in 2 Chronicles 26 1. Joram beget Ozias. There's a little problem there. 2 Chronicles 22 1, 2 Chronicles 24 1, 2 Chronicles 25 1. Azahiah, Joash, and Amaziah are three missing kings from, from Jesus' line. These three kings. These three kings of no. They are missing from the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Azahiah, Joash, and Amaziah are not even included. And Ozias beget Jonathan, and Jonathan beget Ahaz, Ahaz beget Echazias, and Echaz. Oh, here we go with the names again. Echazias beget Manassas. That's the longest reign king. The most wickedest king. That got right. And Manasseh begat Amon. And Amon begat Josiah. Josiah begat Jeconias. I'll find his note. He is the grandson of Jeconias missing. Idol, idol, uh, idol worship. 2 Kings 23-31. As I said, Elkim and Jehoiakim are missing. Second Kings twenty three thirty six. So there's a little idolatry worship going on, and his brethren, Zedekiah, Second Kings twenty four eighteen. About the time they were carried away to Babylon. Look at that. Now that dates. Verse eleven is in the time of Jeremiah. When they were carried away to Babylon, Jeremiah 22, 24 to 30. And after they were brought to Babylon, you got Ezekiel. Look how the line of Jesus Christ dates the books in the Bible. Jeconias beget, all these names again, Shalil, and Shalil beget Zorobabel. Zorobabel beget Abed who did, and Abed you did beget Elkayim. This is where you start slowing down. And Elkayim beget Azor. Yeah, it's Azor reading these words. Azor beget Sadok. And Sadok beget Etchum. And Etchum beget Elib. Elib beget oh, Eleazar. I know that name. And Eleazar beget Matin. And Matin beget Jacob and Jacob beget Joseph. Oh, well, isn't that interesting? We just went back to the Old Testament again, but we didn't. Joseph's dad was named Jacob, and Joseph is the greatest type of the Lord Jesus Christ. I think they say 144 particulars, and I'm not correct on that number. 
Joseph begat J Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary. There's Mary. There's Joseph, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. Now, of whom? Did you read the words begat, 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 begat? Then Mary, of whom was born? The change of expression here is very important. It's no longer who begat, but Mary, of whom was born Jesus. Jesus was not begotten of a natural generation. It's also in the Greek, you want to know, we'll learn some Greek here. It's feminine and not masculine. Genesis 3.15. Her seed, a woman doesn't have a seed. Genesis 3.15. This is found nowhere else. So when it says Mary of whom, that's the virgin birth of whom. Not begat, 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 begat. And it says, of Mary, of whom there's a virgin birth in Matthew, was born Jesus. Had nothing to do with Joseph. And we're going to read that further in this chapter. Who is called Christ. Christ means anointed. That's what Christ means, the anointed one. Satan is a Christ. He's anointed. Ezekiel I'm going to say 28. I got 38, but I think that's 28. I could be wrong. So Genesis 3.15 matches Matthew 1.16. So all the generations from Abraham to David. Abraham, the foundation of the Jews. To David, the kingdom, the government. Are 14 generations. And from David unto the carrying away to Babylon. Judgment, 14 generations, minus three kings, we three kings of, <coughs> man, I should have been singing, <coughs> yeah, from the carrying away unto Babylon, unto Christ, are 14 generations, that's the Messiah. The foundation of the Jews, the kingdom, the government, the judgment, and the Messiah. And from the studies of other people, not myself, the 14 generations, I don't understand, but there's some question. But I'm not going to question the Bible. That's what God said, and some people worked it out. <coughs> Oh boy. Now. 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 We've been talking about a bunch of dead people, except for Joseph and Mary. Now, present. The birth of Jesus Christ. Got that? The birth of Jesus. God, Jesus Christ, the birth, was on this wise. This is how it happened. Here's how. When, as his mother Mary was espoused, engaged, betrothed to Joseph, a man and a woman, <clears throat> before they came together no flesh joining flesh no sexual immorality because it would have been fornication Mary is still a virgin she didn't have sex with anybody else she didn't have sex with Joseph so if you said Mary was with anybody at all you have blasphemy the virgin birth of Jesus Christ and the scripture. 
She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. And there it is. <coughs> How did Jesus Christ by the Holy Ghost? Explain it. The Holy Ghost. That's it. That's all I know. That's what the Bible says. And Luke, the medical doctor, backs this up. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man. Look what the Bible says about him. I got something in my throat. He was a just man. And not willing to make her a public example. He could have. He could have pulled this woman out and say, look at her belly. I ain't the father. This woman has no longer been faithful to me. Was minded to put her away privately, privately. <coughs> Joseph was going to divorce her. <coughs> I can't. Ugh. Sorry. Joseph was going to put her away because she's pregnant. But while he thought on these things, he's thinking, he, man, he doesn't want to do her injustice. There's something been a violation here. And God has put him into great thought. Just get off to yourself. Get by yourself. Just listen. Behold the angel of the Lord. That's Jesus Christ. That's the first New Testament place. And it's Jesus speaking to Joseph while being in the womb of Mary. Well, she's already pregnant. The baby Jesus embryo is in the womb and the angel of the Lord is Jesus Christ. So in the womb he comes as his angel and shows the Joseph. Hi there. The Lord appeared unto him in a dream. So he's sleeping. <clears throat> Saying <coughs> <coughs> so I can finish Joseph thou son of David making sure we're talking to the right one here fear not he's been fearing why would the angel say that I would assume he really loved this woman and God really loved her to take unto thee Mary thy wife. They haven't come together but their husband and wife. <clears throat> you know how well God honors uh, engagement? Some words I need. When you say, I want to marry you, and she says, yes, I want to marry you, the Bible calls that a marriage. You don't have that last fling on your honeymoon night or the bachelor party. You're married to her. <clears throat> you have given your word already. For that which is conceived in her. That's what he's been thinking about. She's pregnant. Is of the Holy Ghost. You just imagine Joe's there. He's dreaming. You just not. Huh? Uh. God did this? <clears throat> you know, you got to admit that this has got to be really kind of troubling to Joseph unless he knows his Bible. He's a just man. He knew the law because he knew he could put her away. He didn't want to. And she shall bring forth a son. How's that? How's that for a prophecy? You only get one out of two. Today they make it one out of three. A son, a daughter, I don't know. <clears throat> but in the Bible it's either son or daughter. That's one out of two. And thou, Joseph, shall call his name Jesus. God with us. God save us. <clears throat> For he shall save his people from 
their sins. Luke one thirty two. Jesus means Jehovah saves. Isaiah forty nine one. Matthew twenty one nine. <clears throat> so Jesus, the angel of the Lord, shows up and says, Listen, your wife is faithful. It was the Holy Ghost of God. She's going to bring forth a son. That's a sign to Joseph, by the way. You know that? And you're going to name him Jesus. And he's going to save his people, the Jews. Now, all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, <clears throat> now I don't know if this is a side note 23, 24, 25 or if this is what the angel told Joseph but here's the prophecy concerning this behold a virgin shall be with child well that would answer Joseph right there okay now I understand if he's a just man There's been no other man but God. And shall bring forth a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. 1 Timothy 3, 16, Isaiah 7, 14, and 8, 7. <clears throat> God with us. God save us. Which is being interpreted, God with us. Then Joseph being raised from the sleep. So I would assume that 22 and 23 is what the angel also said to him, confirming the word. Joseph being raised from the, being raised from the sleep did as the angel of the Lord had bid him. Look at that. He obeyed the angel of God. And took unto him his wife. Come on, dear. We're... we're I understand what's going on now because when we get to Luke chapter 3 we ever get there Lord willing Mary has an encounter with Gabriel Joseph gets an encounter with Jesus Christ you know you imagine right now he took his wife <clears throat> imagine between 24 and 25 now Mary says what Gabriel told her well that's kind of funny because I had an angel visit me too my angel was, was the angel of the Lord appeared unto me and told me. He told me exactly what Gabriel told you, hon. That's a mouthful of two or three witnesses, isn't it? It shall be established. Look at that. <clears throat> and knew her not. Till... She had brought forth her firstborn son. You know what that implies? After Jesus was born, guess what? Mary and Joseph got together and performed the marriage bed and produced other children. See, the Roman Catholic Church will say, and knew her not, period. But that's not a period. Till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name, Jesus there you go the boy was born they named him Jesus the signs came to be there's the king there's the line of the king the broken line of the king and by adoption Jesus is brought back into the family of David Solomon 